were based for the two week holiday in Kos was at the lovely Denise Apartments owned by Nikos and Effie and this is in the area of Salidi which is not too far away from Kos Town and it was about a 40 minute walk into Kos Town so this is one of the studios there and I do apologise it's very blurry um, I had different camera settings I didn't realize until I was editing but yes this is what one of the studio rooms look like and the view when you are poolside So Salida, like I said, is just on the outskirts of Kos Town and I guess would be one of the more quieter areas on the island compared to some of the other resorts that you may visit if you are going to Kos. Um, but it was very handy on the coast and it has a very long coastline that goes all the way from Kos Town up to the other edge of the island and you have lots of lovely beaches. Now these vary from sand to a bit of pebble and they do have some seaweed as well in places but this is where we spent most of our time when we did visit the beach and Theophilus beach was amazing you got a coffee each time you bought the sunbed for the day so two sunbeds a parasol were around seven euros and you got a nice coffee to go with it so the guys there were brilliant Opposite the Salidi coastline is the Turkish coastline as well. I'm not quite sure which area of Turkey this is, but I know you can get ferries over to Bodrum and it is this side of the island which you would get that from because Kos is very, very close to Turkey. We didn't do a trip over there, but that is one of the trips that you can do. When you lay down in an open field When you saw my dreams are turning real So unreal The ocean's warm Don't you like it better When you see the sun Don't you like it better When the sky is blue As I said before, Cost Town is roughly a 40 minute walk from Salide along the coastline and you enter into the beautiful town. Now Cost Town is such a vibrant town to visit and it is well worth a visit if you are visiting Cost. Don't know how many times I can say Cos. Um, but yes, this town is vibrant, it is cosmopolitan but has a mixture of the old architecture, the old archaeology sites as well as Ottoman influences and the Roman Venetian times as well. It has a really good mixture of old and new and just sits really well. There is a plethora of tavernas, cafe bars, bars, everything you want as well as a fabulous harbour where you can get most of your boat trips out of the town and into other areas along the coastline and other islands.
dancing, let's drink up your death Look like big fun, come on, let's get it on Like that one, fin gay song I'm stunning, you love it Come on, give me something I know that you want it Come on, give me something The night is young and so are we So maybe you should leave with me The night is young and so are we One place to see whilst in Cos Town is the Tree of Hippocrates, where it's alleged he taught his students the art of medicine many, many years ago. Now, the current tree that is there is roughly around 500 years old, but it's apparently a descendant from the original tree, which is like 2,400 years old from the Hippocrates time. And as you can see, it's quite damaged now because it is so old and held up by scaffolding. So the view can be a bit skewed, but it's still well worth a visit. day trips we did from Kos was to the beautiful island of Niseros which included having a coach ride from Salidi to Cardamina port and then a boat ride over the sea from Kos to Niseros. Niseros is a small island in the Aegean neighbouring Kos and another island called Telos and it is beautiful and it is most famous I guess or one of the famous things about it is it has a volcano that you can go and explore. Now this is one of Greece's smallest volcanoes and I believe it was last active in the 1996-1997 years and there hasn't been any recorded activity since but they do still monitor it. Now you can go down into the main crater and explore this. Obviously there's not lots to see but it is amazing to think that you are in a volcano and there are some interesting smells coming up through, <laughs> through the crater um, created by the sulphur. After the volcano it was time to explore Mandrake which is the main town in Niseros and a quaint town at that. Think of your typical seaside fronted town in Greece and you have got Mandrake. It's full of cafe, cafe bars, tavernas, bakeries and shops to buy lots of local produce. Now Niseros was known for its obsidian trade as well as harvesting pumice and perlite I believe and from the shops you can buy lots of local produce especially there is an almond syrup or an almond drink that you mix with water there's a cinnamon version as well and a wonderful tomato sweet now try the tomato ice cream if you do visit Niseros I know it sounds disgusting but it is absolutely gorgeous it is so sweet has a honey taste and doesn't taste of tomatoes they are made from a very sweet tomato that is grown on the island and yes highly recommend and I would highly recommend visiting Niseros because it is just beautiful.
love to do a boat tour when in Greece because it just gives you the chance to explore more of the beautiful country and nearby islands because there are that many islands and places in Greece to explore you're never going to do it in your lifetime so why not club it together in one trip so this is a three island boat tour that we did with Katerina boat tours or boat trips they are a family run business based in cost town and you can only book directly through them they are a smaller boat so it's not filled with other people I think there's a max of 40 people and included in the trip you get to go to three different islands around the area so the first one here is Platte where you have a swim stop and let me tell you this sea was amazing to swim swimming I don't know what was going on around this island part but you were so effortless to float you didn't have to sort of paddle and keep afloat it just helped you float I don't know what it was but it was fabulous then after having this swim stop is the lunch stop so whilst on the trip including the price you do get fed your lunch and it is a beautiful lunch is one of the best we've had on a boat trip and you also get some extra snacks and treats further on in the trip as well so the next place on the stop is Kalimnos famous for harvesting sponges so you get to have a look around Vathi I think it's called one of the towns in Kalimnos and then you move on to Serimos and if you're lucky like us you may see some dolphins so coming up we've got some dolphins out in the wild and we thought something was wrong with the boat when he started going come 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 we all had to run to the edge of the boat and this is what we saw so yes if you're looking for a great boat trip then Katerina Boat Tours is the one to do and you get to see three islands and maybe some dolphins along the way we'll be up to late Another trip we did during our time in Kos was visit the beautiful mountain village of Zia specifically to watch the sunset while we had an evening meal. Now this is a beautiful mountain village overlooking the valley and you can watch the sunset as I have said. Now it's important to note that it gets extremely busy especially in the month of August when we went full of tourists like ourselves so it is advised to pre-book any reservations and just be aware if you are making your own way there parking can be incredibly hard if you are in your own transport we did it via a bus tour up to the village and I can't quite remember how much this cost but it's not very much about 12 euros maybe a bit more less than 20 anyway but yes there is lots of shops and other tavernas around the village so it's well worth an explore and looking at some of the unique handmade goods that they have up here as well Everything. 